This is just a quick video to show you how to watermark images in batches using the free uh, Picasa program um, available on Mac or PC. I love Picasa, one, because it's so easy to share to Google Plus on your Google Drive, which is so important now, and two, because its editing tools are pretty good and they allow you to add text to your photos, which is what you really need uh, to be able to do to add a watermark. And this is the simplest way I have found to do it. So basically you're just going to go into Picasa and open up an image. These are from our trip to Legoland and then you're going to do any edits that you want and click to add text. And this is where it really is awesome and so much better than um, PicMonkey, which I love as well, but you can't choose your own font. So if you have spent money on a font or found the perfect one that you use on your site, you can uh, search for it here and it will be installed. So my font is Nutraface Display and I'm going to use Titling. Um, and I type my watermark and for me I just use white and that works for me um, and on these I actually think hit apply to put your text on I actually think I'm going to add here Legoland Florida because I really want to have people be able to see where this is and if it's pinned or anybody you know wants to see it they'll see that so I hit apply and so if I'm in my library I can see that I have that on there um, and now I'm going to say copy text so simple and then I'm going to select all the photos in this album and then simply say paste text and I have my little clock. We're waiting, we're waiting. This is so great because well, it usually goes really fast. <laughs> Anyway, I'm always looking for tools that can make it easier. So, um, now I left in my vertical images, but if I had a ton, I would probably separate them out. Um, so you can see now, it's updating over here. I'm in my pictures, and they are all um, watermarked. And if it's a vertical one, all I'm going to do is move my watermark. And in the case of something like this, I might... Um, change the font color, um, which is super simple once you're in the app. So you can see my watermarks on there at the Lego Lamb Florida. And here's one again where I want to just move this and hit apply. It takes no time at all, though, compared to uh, doing this in another app. Um, this, I might do a blue would be pretty. And normally, obviously, I'd get my font colors from my site and all that. Um, but this is just so simple, and I probably don't want to cover up the giraffe's head, so maybe on this one I will delete this text. Let's see. So basically you can see you just go in then and take a couple seconds to update your your photos and then um, when you're done you have all of your pictures 
and they look so pretty. Oh, I didn't select those ones at the end. Okay, so you have your pictures, and then you go back in your library, and this is the other really great part, because you also have batch resizing when you export. So you select all your photos that you've watermarked, and I did not do these last couple. So you select your photos, which takes no time at all, and then you simply say export, and on my site, I have a width of 640, and so I do that, and then I click export, and it's going to export those straight to my desktop, so that when I upload them to my WordPress site, or whatever site you're on, so there, now you can see they're in there, um, they're going to upload at the correct size, so no websites will have to resize it, and I will have added text to all of my photos in just a few easy steps. I hope that's helpful, and please leave any questions in the comments. Good luck!